fellow crafters and paper artisans, it's Chandra with Stark and Stuff. I am here to do a sheet load, an old sheet load. It's not necessarily a rewind for me because I never did do this one. I, I have a notebook where I keep them all and I had two months that I never did in the front pocket. It's where I put them until I get to them. And you may have noticed that there is no June 2023, um, so keep Crafty Al in your thoughts and prayers as she um, is going through a grieving process for, over her mom. And so um, those of us that are her collaborators for sure, and those of us that are um, that do sheet loads are just taking the month of June or however long she needs to um, do some rewinds and go back and work on some cards that we may not have done. So this is from March 2020, and there's the sketch. And uh, you have heard me say a thousand times that I'm trying to use scraps, and I really am for the most part. So I'll talk to you about what's a scrap and what actually I cut paper for. Um, my craft room is 99% packed up, but I kept my summer box out, and that's where I have my summer papers, including this uh, Echo Park America, and it is, um, it's not this year's kit, it probably was maybe even two years, I'm not sh exactly sure, but um, I got it. And I really think I just opened it um, this weekend to do cards. So I did cut into um, into this pack. I used for the most part this paper, and I did um, I used this paper. I did another sheet load that I will share with you as well, uh, and I used the plaid, the blue plaid. Oops, sorry, blue pad at the bottom. So, um, I stamped them all with the same sentiment, wishing you a shining star, um, center stage, be who you want to be birthday. And, um, this piece here is actually from, uh, this collection, which was the Stampin' Up! Peach collection that I shared with you last week. So, these are full cards. I used all the red is scraps from my scrap stash. Um, and then I just used the extras to line the inside and then I did a different sentiment. So those three are new sheets. These were scraps. You see there's not even the same card. Um, these stripes are going um, vertically and those are going horizontally because I'm um, trying to make the scraps work that I had stuffed in my bag. And I was able to cut this peach strip in half and still use that and then I did um, on the inside I did a little just trying to use it all up so I'm not creating more scraps this was a scrap in my bag and I cut it down got three pieces out of it and then um, because this strip is four inches by two I have one seriously I had a 12 by 2 inch <laughs> So I was able to get three out of there, but I wasn't able to really find, I'm not exactly ecstatic about what I did here, but I was trying to use scraps. <laughs> so I had a piece of this, um, I had about six inches of this, almost looks like a, it reminds me of kind of cookout, like a cookout tablecloth. So I thought it was fine um, because this kind of has this American feel. This is actually scrapbook paper that I had in my scrap box. And then I had a strip of this that I was able to make two. Um, and it is a red and blue flower with a light blue background. So I went with it. Um, it's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. Uh, it's a lot of different prints on that page. <laughs> so I guess it's a lot on the others too, but something about that one just didn't, didn't sit. I think because the blues are all different, but um, I'm, I have a ton of July birthdays uh, because I've been passing my birthday list around and at, asking people to add themselves to it. Since I'm moving out of state, I just that's just a way to keep in touch with folks. 
Um, so I just decided to do not really like 4th of July, but still have that red, white, and blue theme for the summer. And then I had these two peachy ones that I'll use. So just wanted to share those. This is the March 2020. It was pretty simple to do. I like the way they turned out for the most part. And thanks for watching. I will have a second sheet load up this week because I did do two sets. So uh, see you soon.